You are watching my channel TechZone and DIY. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Thank you very much. So I have this 500 watt uh, inverter. This is from 12 volt to 500 watts. But it has a problem. It goes to overload beep and no, no output basically when i plug this in and i go and uh, i'm supplying 12 volts and if i touch this one this is continuously beeping and there is no output so to troubleshoot what i did in the first place is uh, these are uh, the two mosfets and there's another mosfet here and all these mosfets i checked all the mosfets they are good uh, so they are giving the right uh, 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 right homage drain to source so all of these mosfets are good i checked these transistors so i had some doubt about this transistor which i replaced with something else that I had in this talk and still this issue is not going away so I believe it could be is showing overload so first thing first with the overload I suspect uh, this register here probably this is overvalued so I am gonna install this is uh, 0.1 ohms resistor this is uh, uh, this is 0.2 ohms so let me see if 0.1 ohm resistor works and if this works uh, then uh, then i think uh, this should be good to go so let me solder this here okay it's done and let me solder one one part here all right so this is soldered though this uh, voltage uh, is doubtful to me but uh, let me try and then uh, see if uh, i can resolve this issue so i see this one here let me put this back all right so and then this one and let me switch on and then see if i get the voltage and uh, so this is here so this is the switch on off so the output here is 100 100 volts so output is kind of less it should be 110 or 120 and uh, so I think this is this is working but I have to make sure that uh, this uh, generates 110 volts and I don't know why it's generating 100 volts I have no idea so let me fix this one so I'm gonna put uh, uh, a resistor uh, which is a heavier one this is uh, one watt but i think i need something like nine watts or something like that to work with this one so let me get rid of this one and uh, okay this one is out this is out too so i have another resistor which is uh, this resistor is 0.2 ohm so i'm gonna connect both of these I think this should work okay so this is good so let me put the rose in rose in here and let me solo this one this is kind of tricky but then it should work So 
All right, so this connection is good. So now I have to make another connection on this side. I will raise it a little bit. It, it should not get hot, but I am still raising it so that it doesn't touch any components under, under it. So let me solder this one, this connection. And I believe this should work nicely. Okay, good. Cut off the excess wire. This one, let me cut this off. All right, so I have installed this resistor. I'm gonna raise it up a bit. Just a hint, that's good. Okay, so now let me try again and then see what is the voltage I'm getting. See voltage. This is even lower than before. <laughs> Alright, so now I tested with this display. It has a display on top and this is showing uh, 118 volts. So I believe when I plug this in, then the voltage uh, sh uh, shown by the meter is correct. So that means uh, uh, the voltage is correct now i have to put all these things together all these stuff and then test again i believe this should work now so i have plugged it into my power supply the bench power supply which i had converted from uh, the pc power supply you have seen that video before so now it's supplying 11.7 volts and this is the so let me switch it on and then see what happens all right so this is excellent so this is 114 volts and input voltage is 11.4 volts so i'm pretty sure this is gonna be great so this uh, is fixed all right thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and make comments in the section below. Thank you.